Welcome to the new React Native quick tutorial. Today I want to show you how to create an internationalized list of countries in your React Native app. Ideally, such a list should be implemented and maintained by BFF and used in the app's raw API. But in the real world, upside implementation could be the only solution. So let's get started. Here is a library that I'm gonna use. The link you can find below this video. Developers refer to the official standard defining codes for the names of countries. Also looks like the library has a good maintenance. Now let's go back to the project and install this library. I'll create utils file and add import from installed library. Next step, we need to register all languages we want to use. In my case, it will be English, my native language Ukrainian, and let it be Japanese. Also, I'll specify country type with two parameters, code and name. And finally, we're ready to implement a function. Let's call that getCountries. Since we want to have internationalized list, we should call getNamesLibrary function and pass language argument. We can specify some options to display names. I prefer the official country name. GetNames function returns an object where country code is a key and country name is a value. Let's convert the object to the array and add some mapping. Let's keep the name as is for now, but the country code format changed to alpha 3. GetNames function returns code in alpha 2 format, but with additional library function it's not a problem to convert code in the format that you need. Now I'm gonna create the UI part. It will be a simple flat list with the countries as data. Of course, the list item should be a separate component, but UI is not the main point of this tutorial, so let's keep it in the same file. For the key extractor, we use country code. And now let's have the first test. So, good news, it works. But I think we need to add some styles. Also, let's add safe area and separator for list items. I guess much better now and we can test other two languages. I know I've been mentioning UI is not a point of this video, but I can't keep in line style, so let me improve this code at least by extracting styles to the stylesheet object. Now when we have almost perfect UI for this tutorial, let's add one more thing. We all know it's better to recognize some country when we see not only the name of the country, but the flag as well. Let's go back to the utils files and create a new function. Call this function getFlagEmoji with country code argument. In the implementation, first uppercase the country code input to ensure we are getting the right character position. Next, split into an array and iterate over each character. Now we need to get the correct flag emoji index using magic number and char code add function. I'll put the link below this video where you can read more about this function and what this magic number means. Now we can modify country name by adding flag. Now let's test and it looks really better. Thank you for watching, I hope this video was interesting for you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and put your comments for the new videos. See you in the next tutorials.